Yo guys, it's Dex here, uh, bringing you a tutorial on how to make a clan AVI pop-out logo. So, let's get started. I'm going to use the Beast and the Sprint logo, as you can see here. Here, I'll put the back one on to make it more vivid. Alright, so, what I actually do, I have an AVI making pack. If you want to download it, it's in my store. I'll put the description... I'll put the link in the description below, sorry. And, uh, yeah, it has a bunch of stocks and everything, but I don't want to talk about that. I want to tell you how to make a nice, uh, AVI. So, what I usually do first is I go to backgrounds, pick a nice background. Um, let's do, let's do red. Uh, I actually like that first one. Alright, seems good. Let's go here. And shrink it down to size. So hold shift when you when you're scaling it. It's gonna help you. Well it's not really gonna help you, but it's just gonna not distort, it's not gonna make it really long, like it's not gonna make it really long horizontally like that. That doesn't look good. Or so it'll just keep it symmetrical and then what I do, create clipping mask. Alright, that looks pretty nice. And then you're also gonna wanna find Another red one. Let's see. Usually I pick two of the same color, but it doesn't really no matter. Okay, I'll use this one. Okay, shrink it down once again. Hold shift when you do it. Okay. Seems good, and you're gonna want to put it below the logo. All right. Now what I do is go to filter, blur, field blur. You can do experiment with the other kind of blurs. I usually just stick to field blur, pretty basic. And then, so this will pop up on the right hand side, and as you can see, it's already blurring it. And you can make it more blurred. 21 pixels. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll keep this 21. And um, so yeah, so now it's gonna blur. Doesn't always do this just because my computer's a little bit slow. All right. So now after that, I'm just gonna pick out character. And then what you do from here, go to I'll I'll use try to find something. Reddish. Now I like this one. Badass Deoxys. Okay, now I'm gonna here. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. I mean it's a little bit big right now. Okay, let's see. Alright, looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the layer. So I have two. And then I put one on top of the logo, on top of the clipping mask. The one right on top, I'm going to create a clipping mask. And the other one, I'm just going to leave on top. And this is the one you have to have selected on top. And then what you do, you take your eraser. Um, yeah, that seems good. Bring it up. And you're going to erase the parts so that looks like it's inside the logo. So I could also go like that. I could also go like that. I don't really like that though. I like that part popping out. And that part too. And if you don't like it, you can just press Control Alt Z and just backspace every like go back and it'll cancel whatever you just did. And if you want to change the position of it, you can't Go like that. So control Z. Gonna hold control and select both of the layers and you're gonna move them. Otherwise it won't work. So yeah, that's like a better position. Now I'm gonna select the top layer. I'm gonna not like that. Uh, right, top layer. Erase the little bits and pieces. Right. 
You know what? I'm actually just gonna change it back. I'm sorry. But it kind of looked better. Because both legs were in here. Top leg. Okay, so now I have the actual logo done. So now what I'm gonna do is go to text. I'm gonna bring the font size up a little bit. 64 maybe. Or maybe even. Eight. Uh, probably. Probably 80 would be nice and tight. Alright. And then, so let's say I'm making this for myself. Type it in, I'm gonna change this to a reddish, nice red color. Uh, probably, so you can, I would like it to match something on the logo. So maybe this color. This color. this one. And then, check it off. And then what I usually do with AVIs, and the logo is how you go to bevel and emboss. See, that's a little bit high, so I'm just gonna lower it. 235 is pretty good. So now you go to satin. Uh, lower that. Maybe 15. A little bit of outer glow, so a little much. Maybe 25 to 32. Drop shadow. Right? And then. I'm actually going to make this text a little bit larger since my name isn't that long. Eight. Let's see how it works. Looks pretty good. And then, what I usually do from here, I adjust it. So I'm going to want to put the ruler in the middle. Which is there. Ruler. Oh, I don't really need that ruler. But. So then I'm going to press Control T while the text is selected and hold alt and scroll in and I'm just gonna make sure that those two lines are lined up with the ruler which they are be lucky press enter and then yeah there you go you can experiment with different layer styles um different fonts like some people don't like this font i know porkies which you can get but also bank gothic this one is good. I usually use those two for AVI, so I like those the best. So, yeah, drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed or learned something, and then.